Imagine this, you've designed the perfect Discord bot, but it only works when you're online. I will be telling you how to make your bot run 24-7 with Heroku. At the end of this video, I'm going to put a bunch of timestamps on where you might have trouble. For example, if you're having trouble with your basic bot code, which is the first step of the process, I'll put a link in the description to where exactly you can find help with this, and I'll have this with every stage in the process if there's a way to get stuck. First, there's a few applications we need to install before us. That includes GitHub Desktop. The second thing we need to do is create a repository on GitHub. Then there's going to be the setup and desktop button. That's only if we have GitHub on desktop. So notice how the page on the GitHub is totally empty, except for the blank things that came with it. We need to update that, make it with our own code, make it new, special. So from before, remember how we had these files and they were the things that made up our code. I'm going to copy and paste these over to GitHub we are going to do this by publishing it there or committing it into github we need a summary and this can be anything i like to put it as the date publish branch on the top now once we refresh the page they're all in github perfectly normal fine uh this is perfect because heroku builds off of the things that you put on github so let's go to heroku.com now when we're on heroku we need to create a new app on the top right app name it can be anything it probably it has very strict guidelines for what makes an app name, so I wouldn't care that much. Since we are getting this from GitHub, we need to get the repository name. We also want to enable this. It doesn't do any harm, I think. Then we need to deploy branch. So our code worked and everything, but we have no way of starting it. So now let's go back to our Visual Studio's code file thing. Reminder, this is going to be in the new place in our desktop, not the place it was before in my code file. It's going to be in GitHub. Now we need to make a text file and it's going to be named proc file with a capitalized letter and no .txt. This is important because it's capitalization sensitive. In this file we're going to write record node index dot js because that's the thing that we wrote to start up the file from before. As you know in JavaScript, remember, we always write node file.js. And that index, for me, may be something for you because that's my main file. It starts it all. Now since we added this proc file thing, I believe it's all perfect and ready to go. We need to do this committing thing again. Since we have saved our code, all we need to do is deploy this GitHub breach again. And saving our code in GitHub Desktop also puts in the repository too. Now, you see this Dino page. Dinos are basically bots in this, or like server? I don't really know. But, flip it on, I confirm it, and then let's check my Discord server. The only way you know you're right is if you test if you're right. Let's test this out. When I should type ping, it should come out as Pong. And yup, here it went. Now, I'm going to describe some of the mistakes you might have while going through this process. The first mistake you might have is not installing the proper software. So you need to get Hub Desktop. This will be in the description, along with all of the other links that you may need to do this. For this, I also installed Git on my computer and Heroku CLI. It's just because you can do basically everything manually without going on to Chrome at all. Now, if this fails at installing, you can always uninstall it and try installing it again. Maybe something glitched with it. Maybe like a file went into the wrong location and bombs blow up. Ah! The next thing that can go wrong is your code. Number one, maybe it's your token. Maybe your token is wrong. Since I've defined my token from up here and it's from a file over here, it grabs this and put it here. But there's a way where you can make it so... But when you use .gitignore, it doesn't put certain things on GitHub. Like, you don't want this token on GitHub because people can hack into your bot that way. I've heard people talk about using environment variables. There's 
ways around it, I really don't know. But just make sure that no one sees this token. The next mistake that you can have. So the prog file, it needs to be first loaded capitalized. I've once went through this and the entire thing I stressed so hard why it wasn't working. Everyone kept saying online, the prog file needs to be capitalized. That's why you're getting this mistake. I checked it and it's capitalized. But the problem is, on GitHub it wasn't. I've resolved this by deleting the proc file and making it over again. Next, this could also be where you get an error. This needs to be whatever your main file is. Say you named the main file bot. That's going to work out good. But if it's bot and you don't have it named that, it's trying to start a file that's not there. Next problem could be in a package folder. You need the start script. You also need the main script because that will go together and also since you're doing discord bots you also need this everything else they come when you type npm dot init in the terminal other than that if there's a problem in here it's with the code itself next you may have a difficulty here you need to fetch the origin it could be because it doesn't detect any changes you have with that you might have forgotten to save or you press this button up here. You might have also made a mistake here too when I went to this file that all my code was in and I copied the things needed. You need to make this file first which you created from when you created that repository on github and then you paste it here. So github comes first and then putting everything into it comes after. These next mistakes are probably going to be the 99% of mistakes people are going to experience. If you make a mistake, it would have said error, something, something, something is happening. And Heroku is kind of nice by saying like what, by linking you to sites that can fix with the errors. So if it's a site that's linking to proc file, then you probably did something with that wrong. There's thousands of errors that you can make and I probably won't explain them all. The next mistake that can happen is with the dinos. Can be weird sometimes. It's kind of it's kind of glitchy. I would prefer always having one on and you can see if it's on or not by going to overview and it says. But if you say ping and it shows up twice that might be because you also have it on in your code too as well as your server. A way you can fix this is by quitting the terminal on your code and now the only thing that's going to run is the Heroku bot thing. Also if this is a bit kind of glitchy because sometimes it is there's also another way besides github and I tend to do this a lot you actually need to download git and you need to download Heroku CLI. So just follow the steps, log in with Heroku with this, it will bring you to a site and then pull your changes. In addition to the things before, you can manually start up your the bot, I believe, copying pasting thieves. I haven't gotten it to work and it's kind of weird, so it sometimes works. I don't know when, I don't know how to tell, it just works when everything else doesn't work and doesn't work when everything else works but that's a way you can set up a bot I believe manually so you may also come to an issue where the bot turns off after about an hour of not doing anything it could be less it could be more I really don't know but so I installed a cron and the cron reminds it every 30 minutes that this thing is running and Diane Heroku turns off their bots around an hour of not running anything at all and this will make sure it constantly stays awake. A link is in the description. Bye!